assalamu alaikum students this is unit number 16 language book grade 3 its title is glass okay read after me people made glass 4000 years ago they heated sand in a fire when sand gets very hot it melts it makes a thick sticky liquid as you can see here is sand they are heating the sand and then it has become a sticky thick liquid while the liquid is cooling it is easy to shape it as you can see this is a shape made of soil and they are putting this sticky thick liquid on the shape the first glass makers shaped round beads these were the first glass objects later egyptian people made vases from glass they used earth to make the shape this earth or soil they heated the sand as you can see they dripped the hot liquid onto the shape they completely covered the shape then they let the liquid cool here he is covering the shape with liquid okay and then they let it cool and now you look the shape is ready when it was hard they picked out the earth from the middle as you can see he is picking out the earth it took a long time to make a vase in this way next people learned to blow glass this was quicker and cheaper so more people could have glass things the romans often had glass bottles and jars in their homes People still blow glass. This glass blower has a long thin metal pipe. This is the metal pipe. This is the glass. First he picks up some of the thick liquid he blows into the pipe liquid and he blows as you can see this is a liquid and he blows to to make this shape he blows into the pipe the shape at the other end gets bigger he uses a piece of 
wood to shape it here is a piece here is a piece of wood and he's shaping it and when it is the right shape he cuts it off the pipe okay he cuts it from here people learned to make different shapes this light has shapes like raindrops this light as you can see these are hundreds of pieces of glass in it the candles shine on the glass the glass makes the light shine more brightly a painter sometimes paints glass with gold and bright colors you can decorate an empty glass jar with colored paper and make it into a present but remember you must always ask an adult before you make something like this this was page number 140 now let's read page number 141 this is page number 141 and here is an activity how to make a sweet jar here is a jar and you can put sweets and candies inside it so if you want to make a sweet jar like this uh, you need some things like you need a clean empty glass jar a4 white paper crayons or colored pencils scissors glue 40 centimeters of ribbon string or wool some sweets or nuts so you can put sweets or nuts so what you have to do it is mentioned here first of all you have to measure 20 centimeters along the paper with a scale measure it draw a line draw a line cut the paper cut with scissors and next is cut the small piece of paper into three pieces okay three pieces and then what to do number three is choose three colors color the pieces as you can see in three colors number four cut out shapes the papers you have colored cut out shapes of those papers number five stick the shapes on the jar with the glue stick these shapes on the jar next is draw a circle on the big piece of paper so as you can see a circle on the big paper cut it out around a circle draw and color it draw and color a pattern you can see last is put the sweets in the jar or if you have nuts you can put nuts now put the paper circle on top of the jar like this tie the ribbon around the jar and give it as a present this was page number 141 now let's do page number 142 this is page number 142 question number one is read and circle true or false number one people 
melted sand to make the first glass it's true according to the lesson it's true number two first the first glass objects were vases false the first glass objects were beads number three the egyptian people used sand to make a shape it's uh, wrong uh, we need to circle false number three is false because they used earth to make shape number four the romans had glass bottles and vases in their homes it's true according to the lesson it's true number five a glass blower blows into a bottle no he blows into the pipe so it is false number six he uses a metal pipe to shape the glass no he used a uh, wood to shape the glass so it is false number seven there are only a few pieces of glass in the light uh, no there are hundreds of glass pieces in the light as you can see in this light there are hundreds of pieces so it's false so this one is false here number one is true number two false three false four true five false six false seven false now let's do question number two you need to cut the paper you need scissors to cut the paper you need crayons or color pencils to color the paper so you can write anything number three is you need glue to stick the paper you need a piece of ribbon centimeters long if you look at page number 141 there is 40 centimeters you draw a line centimeters you draw a 20 centimeters from one end of the paper you draw a line 20 centimeters from one end of the paper it is on page number 141 you can put sweets or nuts in the jar skip from question number three let's do page number 143 this is page number 143 working with words write the words all these objects are made of glass so number one you look into this to see your face it's number one and we see or we look into the mirror so number one is mirror mirror number two this usually has liquid in it and it is a bottle number two is bottle number three these were the first glass objects first glass objects were the beads here is beads b e a d s beads number four you look through this we look through is a glass but if we write glass here it doesn't come perfect so we are going to write here mirror number five is you can pour water out of this number five it is a jug j u g jug number six is this usually has food in it number six it is a jar and number seven you can drink out of this number seven it is a glass g l a double s now let's do last question on this page
underline the conjunctions discuss which two sentences each conjunction joins uh, the conjunction is a word that joins two sentences and here you can see I am eating a sandwich because I'm hungry and this because is, is this is a word that is joining these two sentences first sentence is I am eating a sandwich and second sentence is I am hungry and this word because is joining these two sentences uh, so this word because is called conjunction number two the girl opens the door so she can go into her house this word so is joining these two sentences so so is conjunction the boy is smiling because he is happy so because is conjunction the girl is picking flowers so she can give them to her mom so is conjunction I'm going to bed because I'm tired because is conjunction I'm holding a pen so I can write a letter so this word so is joining two sentences and two sentences are I am holding a pen the other sentence is I can write a letter so is joining both of them this was page number 143 now let's do page number 144 here is page number 144 what do you remember about glass the Romans often had glass jars in their homes Roman glass was usually very beautiful painters sometimes paint glass with bright colors you must always be careful with glass objects you must never drop a glass bottle so you can see these words often usually sometimes always never and we are going to use them in the sentences uh, put the words in correct place in the sentences it is usually glass making is a difficult job so you can write glass making is usually a difficult job glass making is usually right here usually glass making is usually a difficult job you will write this question in your notebook okay write complete sentences in the notebook glass making is usually a difficult job number two is sometimes glass makers sometimes blow glass glass makers sometimes blow glass always you must always hold glass carefully you must always hold glass carefully never you must never throw stones at glass you must never throw stones at glass often old glass is often very beautiful old glass is often very beautiful let's do question number two write sentences look at this never sometimes often usually always so we are going to use these words into these sentences let's see go to bed late I sometimes go to bed late so this one has been used now get up early think about yourself how do you get up early when do you get up early do you never get up early or do you always get up early or do you usually get up early think about yourself and use it accordingly 
so I can say I always get up early next is late for school I never I am I am never late for school next is do my homework I usually do my homework You can write here always and you can write here usually I usually get up early I always do my homework okay uh, but it depends on you you can write anything last question is ask and answer with a friend I sometimes go to bed late how about you and he can tell you what does he do I sometimes go to bed late too the friend answers I never go to bed late okay Talk to your friend and ask him about uh, these situations. This was page number 144. Now let's do page number 145. This is page number 145. And first question is, can you name these objects? They are either made of glass or have glass parts. So let's see number one is window and it has glass parts there are some parts are made of wood and uh, some parts are glass so we can use this picture has glass parts or this object has glass parts and now this one this is totally made of glass so we can write it is glass okay right here glass parts right here glass C this one has glass okay this is totally glass without fish it is glass this one is glass this vase is glass if you ignore the flowers this says this object is glass this object is glass and plastic so it has glass parts this one has glass parts this one has glass parts this one has glass parts glass glass parts glass glass parts glass parts glass parts as the cap is made of plastic next question is find the words in the word snake you can see vase v a s e f i s h fish b o w l ball c l o c k clock m i c r o s c o p e microscope bottle light glass mirror you can write these words here with these pictures skip question number two and three and let's read question number four listen and say two fat drops of rain running down the window pane moving at a steady pace which one's going to win the race? Larry left or Ricky right? Moving faster. What a fight. It's Ricky, right? Hooray, he's won. And look, here comes the sun. This was page number 145. Now let's do page number 146. 
page number 146 we can add the letters er to some verbs to make nouns like he paints glass with gold and white colors he is the painter painter verb is paint and noun is painter so if we add er to some verbs we can make nouns here you can see if we add er sing will become singer so we will write it here again singer build builder right here again builder teach if you add er if you add er it will become teacher right here again teacher question number two shopper runner winner write these words again here and in question number three read these words singer teacher shopper winner builder painter runner swimmer this was page number 146 now let's do page number 147 on page number 147 here is a here is an activity uh, you are going to make a necklace and how to make a necklace we need some beads a rope a string scissor and ruler so you need to write here beads string a string scissors and a scale or ruler so first of all as you can see 60 centimeter mayor sixty centimeters string cut cut it number three arrange the beads pass the string through the beads tie the string Cut the extra string, wear it yourself, uh, give it as a uh, gift thank you glass blowing is almost choreographed if you don't move beautifully with the material you can't make beautiful glass you can force it to become what you want it to be but it's going to capture those hesitations I'm a good dancer with glass. The hard part about American Lager glass is making a glass that can elevate a beverage that we interact with on a daily basis. There's so many different people that drink that beverage. How do I approach designing something that everyone's gonna appreciate? So one of the things that make my glassware very unique is thinking about how the beer drinker is going to interact with them, how it fits in their hand, how it feels, what happens as they're drinking it. 
Glass blowing was invented by the Romans in 50 BC. Same tools, same techniques, and it's a very unforgiving medium. At best, you have a 15 second window between success and failure. If you're working on a piece for an hour, <laughs> at 59 minutes, you can make a mistake and the piece dies, the piece breaks, and it's gone. You can't fix it, you can't save it. So the first step in glass blowing is melting glass. Throw that in about 50 pounds at a time. The furnace that we have is about 350 pounds of glass. For a batch to fine out and become a high quality glass, it has to hit 2,350 degrees. Crazy hot. At this point, we grab the blow pipe and we're gonna insert that into the furnace, quickly turning it, and this is gathering up molten glass. We come out, we do some shaping, and then we pop a bubble into it. It lets us create a wall that now we can start shaping into glass. When you open the furnace door, it is such an intense experience. You either love it or you hate it. If you don't start to smile and you don't walk towards it, then you're never gonna be a glass artist. Being an artist in rural Kentucky, you just don't do that. I had no idea how I was gonna make a living. I didn't even know if that was possible, but I don't know what I am without glass, you know? I love glass. I'm still just as captivated now as I was. Maybe more captivated because finally, after 15 years of working with the material, there is freedom. I have no interest in doing anything else until I die.